Welcome to video number three. Well, today I'm on a West Country River and I'm here standing on a gravel bar which has been exposed as a water level dropped. The rivers here are not like those in the gold-bearing rivers of British Columbia, California and Australia. Here there's very little real hard bedrock. Here most of the water courses run over gravel and it's not particularly rich in gold. So what we're going to find is very small pieces if we are very lucky. But we'll persist and hopefully we'll find something. Sometimes we find nothing, but uh, there's only one way to find out and that's to try. Now I'm working my way upstream where the river begins to shallow. bedrock in this river but there are plenty of stones and mud underneath so I put that in the classifier and I'm going to uh, classify it up in a few minutes anyway I've got to fill it up a little bit more nice piece of quartz I just picked up you don't find that much quartz on this river uh, you never find any really large boots, so um, that's good. You can see where um, during the floods things have been washed up into this corner here uh, in amongst these fallen tree branches. Um, maybe we'll find something interesting in amongst all this stuff. Uh, pieces of old plastic, probably from some windscreen of a car or something. Um, but there you go. A 
And a little side stream comes in here, flowing from the vegetation there. Doesn't look much of a stream, but who knows, when it's flooded here, lots of things might come down that side stream. As I move down river, come to some fallen tree lying in the river. This has caused a pool to form where it's held back the water. And down there is a deep hole. So we don't know whether there'll be anything down there or even over here held back by the branches, even this side where the foam is collecting. Uh, time for a break. I thought it might be interesting to visit a local mine and have a poke about in the old spoil heaps in search of minerals. This particular mine closed in 1893. In its time, the miners were searching for tin, copper, lead and silver. Now it's not a gold mine, but there might be some gold in amongst the old spoil heaps in the uh, quartz. So I'm going to have a look on the old rock dumps. Here, many of the dumps have been overgrown with bramble, gorse and nettles. Luckily, I've discovered a small rock dump exposed among the undergrowth. After breaking it open, I can see some mineralization in the quartz. There is some shiny pyrite here. I don't see any free mill gold, though. It's worth another look here on another day. So I'm back on the river now and uh, the sun's out this time so it's very nice. In the woods here I expect Robin Hood to come through the trees any moment or even Tarzan swinging from the boughs but it's all green at the moment. Everything is beautiful in the woods. Well, here's my little dam, uh, which is where the sluice sits. And uh, as you can see, I put a big bucket full of heavy uh, gravel and material there to try and hold it in place because um, I haven't got very many big rocks in this particular river. It's all very sandy and um, not very rocky. But I'm digging in a spot just over here uh, getting my material from there which is at the side of the river and uh, there are bigger rocks there when I say big they're not huge they're probably about three or four inches across but uh, they're bigger than most of the rocks so hopefully there could be uh, material minerals and all sorts of things get caught up between those rocks but 
We'll have to find out once I sieve it all out and uh, put it in its sluice. My little scoop uh, got carried away, took my attention off it, and the river swept it away. And luckily it's got caught up in these trees down here. So that's the trouble, if you take your eyes off things, they drift off. Uh, a while back I lost a pan, you know, a proper pan, a pan in gold. Um, it was on the side of the river. Before I knew it, the wind blew it into the river and it was carried off at a rate of knots. And I haven't seen it again. It's a nice black one. I like that black pan. But uh, it's gone. You just have to keep your eyes open. I nearly lost this scoop because of that. goes in there. That's a very fine sieve that one. So I'm not expecting anything large so hopefully that sieve might do the trick. Gonna classify this stuff down. All the material that's left in the bottom of the pan here will be finely classified apart from a few rocks that get thrown over the edge sometimes. Um, so rid of these rocks they're no good. And I'll take this and take a nice scoop of this and uh, put it in the sluice. Right, the water's running a little bit faster now, that's good. Hopefully it will separate better and not get caught up just here, which is where it's getting caught up. more material into the sluice. Uh, this has gone through a very fine sieve that usually says flour. So anything coming through here will be pretty small. Time for a little bit of pumping. Very good. I want to see what's under these rocks here. So I'm going to pump a little bit of this out. what's got caught up underneath. I've got a little bit of material. I'm going to try and pan out the uh, There's no way you can get rich doing this. You can't ever find enough gold to just for a pinhead, let alone a crown or a ring or anything valuable. So we're not here because we're making money. We come here out to get out into the fresh air and do something interesting. And uh, it's also discovery because you just do not know what we're going to find in this river. Is there any gold in it? I don't know. There was some gold found further downstream in another area, but that was in about 1860 when they were sluicing it all for tin and copper. Today it's a sad little river. <laughs> all that 
industry has gone. It's not easy to get down to this river in places. Over here it looks like solid ground but in fact if you go further into the woods here you come to marsh. I remember going through there a few years ago and up to my waist in mud by walking in the wrong places. So in the winter it floods this bit of woodland and uh, it makes it ever so muddy uh, when you go walking around there so not a good place to go walking. taking the miner's mat out of the sluice now I'm washing it in the pan and see if we get any joy all right any of the gold if there is any gold it'll all be caught up in the miner's mat I would think maybe a little bit in the back of the sluice um, that needs washing out but um, I'm going to pan this lot up just to see if it's worthwhile there is some black sand in amongst it, so maybe. Well, I've got a little bit of black sand and there's also some little speckles here and there, but I think they're so small, you wouldn't even see them on a camera. Um, but it's an indication, I think there's something in there, but it's so minute <laughs> that um, we haven't found anything with that this little piece of the uh, prospecting well okay the uh, sluice material is down here in the pan whether there'll be anything in that I don't know uh, I should have to pan it out in a minute and see what I can find just black sand in this pan just uh, some very small tiny pieces of quartz and uh, what looks like mica, it doesn't really look like gold. Ah, look at this. A few gold flakes. Small, but very welcome. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Well, another day, another river. See you there, folks.